I'm Grant Fox. This is the Black Weasel, and this is my video game review of Persona 4 Arena for the PlayStation 3. I got this game when it was on sale for like $8 on the PlayStation Store online. Now, Persona 4 Arena is a fighting game that takes place two months after what happened in Persona 4. Not only that, but some of the characters from Persona 3 make an appearance, and so I'll deal with them two years after the events of Persona 3 FES. Um, the story is about the main character, Yu Nara Akame, that makes a return to Inaba for Golden Week. He was supposed to meet up with his buddies at a local mall, but he sees a commercial on the Midnight Channel uh, about a grand fighting uh, tournament. It features him and his friend Star in, in it, even though they have no involvement at all. It's best if they ignored it and continue with the Golden Week vacation. But the problem is that Reese, Kanji, and Naoto are missing and are assumed to be in the TV. The characters, I guess, Mitsuru and Akihiko from Persona 3 make a return, and for good reason, and so the game goes from there. Instead of going back towards the old uh, role-playing gameplay from Persona 4, this fighting game takes this fighting game spin-off takes a turn towards a fighting world that's developed by a different studio. While Alice deals with the story and characters, Arc System Works deals with the gameplay. It's a fighting game, but the story is canon, so it's a must-play um, it's a must to play this game if one likes the personal series, which I do, and the sale of $8 was a steal. And, um, it's a little complicated at first, but this is a, this is a tutorial uh, in the beginning, so I took that so I could also get a trophy from PlayStation in the process. Alright, the story of the game... Um, are how the characters in Persona 4 are once again going into the TV world on a midnight channel to stop an invisible enemy. What I mean by that is that there's someone who created a world inside the midnight channel and it's up to them to go combat the shadow that lies behind the world. I played Persona 4 back in t June 2017 and for the people who never played that role playing game, some of the text shown in the game brings the new players up to speed of what happened in the last game. The twist here is the perspective. I'm not going through the eyes of one character, which was uh, Narakame from the original Persona 4. I go through the lives lives of Yosuke, Chie, Yukiko, Kanji, and many more characters as the story goes on. Um, the game is sort of fun to play, and I played this on a hard difficulty. I had some trouble every now and then, but some of the defense the defensive moves really help out. So Persona 4 Arena is not just a run of the mill button smashing brawler. There's really complicated moves here and there, and trying one of them out in a tutorial was really frustrating. Uh, one downside is that the ending is on kill cliffhanger, meaning that the whole thing will reach a conclusion in the next game. Next game. The soundtrack of the game uses the tracks from the original Persona 4, but there are um, remixes for the fighting themes in the game, so that's a neat twist. So I'll give this game an 8.5 out of 10. The story is really great uh, dealing with the character named Labyrinth, but for the record, the premise looked like it should have been developed by Alice for a role-playing game instead of a fighting one. As a result, the story was short, but it gets longer when I play through other people's uh, perspectives and viewpoints. I played this game on, on October 1st, 21st, 2017, and I finished it on October 28th, 2017. It took me over 41 hours to finish this.